Welcome to the Red Dice Diaries and this is my weekly video log and I'd just like to start by saying I hope you all had a great Christmas. I personally enjoyed my Christmas very much but it's obviously meant it's been a little bit quiet on the role playing front. However, I did play earlier this morning by my time about 3am in an excellent one-off Star Wars Edge of the Empire session run by Andre Martinez of the Tides of Change Facebook group which I'll put a link to down there and I'll also put a link to the video and stuff like that so you can check that out and this was a prelude to an existing module the event itself being called the Flight of the Sal Naor apologies if I've not pronounced that correctly but in essence myself Rob and Steve were playing a group of misfits thrown together as is often the case in Edge of the Empire and we were on this planet of Sylvana, again apologies if I don't pronounce the names correctly, a planet which has a strong separatist sort of presence. And this game was set after Order 66 had been announced during the sort of Empire purges and shortly before the, the published module starts. Now I know Andre is planning on running the published module, I think it's this Wednesday coming for other members of the Tides of Change. And this prelude was just to fill in a, a little bit of backstory connected with the module. And I quite like that since it meant that rather than just a prelude which was just a big wodge of GM exposition or just a big load of box out text which I'm not terribly particularly fond of, it meant that whoever's actually going to be playing in that game can watch the video if they so wish, even though their characters won't know all the details but they can get more of an idea of the actual prelude and the events that led up to the module they're then playing in, which I think is a great idea, actually playing out the prelude. An old band of misfits included a Bothan gambler, which Rob the Swamper was playing, and a Nogri sort of bounty hunter that Steve was playing, and I myself was playing a medical droid called Dr. Tooby. And the idea was that this ship, the Salmor, had arrived on the planet and it had recently had some imperial entanglements and had arrived here quite beaten up in bad shape was looking to get repaired before moving on and through a series of events we led to becoming the escort of the actual captain of the ship helped him retrieve a technician from the planet and a few parts uh, such as a hyperdrive motivator which was needed to repair the ship so we could get the hell out of Dodge knowing that the Empire would soon be snapping at our heels and trying to recapture the ship and everyone on board. As is often the case with these things, everything was going smoothly until we ran into a patrol of Imperial Guards. As we were heading back to the ship, we were forced to take them on in a combat, taking out most of them and then leading to us getting on board the ship. I did a quick bit of mechanical jiggery pokery to install the motivator in the hyperdrive and we blasted off for parts unknown and I believe the the publishing module is going to pick up shortly after that and although I'm not playing in the the Wednesday session I'm very much looking forward to watching it and seeing what if anything was the fate of these these characters that we've came up with and whether they'll continue as NPCs in the session or whether their fates will be something else entirely I also think it's nice because effectively we've our characters we've provided some additional NPCs that can add a bit of texture and a bit of flavour to Andre's sort of full trilogy or whatever it's going to be that he's running the published module in. So again I think that's a really good idea to just build a few extra layers of detail and interest in the game for the future. Mm -hmm. I very much enjoyed the session, just a little short one, I think it was a, a couple of hours long, only really one sort of major combat encounter, there was a lot of talking a lot of looking around, a lot of investigating things and sort of blundering about as you do in these cases and trying to find what we were doing next. And it was also handy because Rob's not massively familiar with the system, so it was nice to be able to sort of help him create his character and get him a little bit more used to the rule system so that he can jump in and play more games in the future. So that's pretty much all that's been going on the last week in terms of role play for me, obviously with Christmas and everything occurring there's not been a great deal of other games on the go however next sunday i do have the next session of the chief's dresden files game coming up where my character will be waking up after his 
body being possessed by a demon for 24 hours as a result of a, a possibly inconceived deal struck in the first session to find us out some necessary information so i'm really looking forward to seeing how that develops and then the week after that i've got the first of a trilogy a three session sort of plot arc of my adventures on the outer rim star wars game which i'm running where the players are going to be trying to break into an imperial base in a sort of heist scenario to retrieve a lightsaber and personal effects that are believed to have once belonged to Qui-Gon Jinn. However, they do have a time limit since Lord Vader himself is travelling to the outpost to find out what the the scientists that he entrusted the artifacts to have been able to glean from them. And pretty much once Vader arrives, that's game over. Because with the best will in the world, the starting sort of level edge of the empire characters aren't going to be taking on the dark lord of the sith but it should hopefully give a bit of urgency to the actual proceedings and i'm planning on writing a blog article about how we discuss that and that'll be posted up soon so that's what's going to be going on soon very much looking forward to some gaming and i'm hoping to be keeping an eye out for one shots that are going on and perhaps running some star wars one shots myself which i'll advertise in the tides of change group so again i hope if you've enjoyed this video you'll consider clicking on the red dice to subscribe to my channel hope you all had a great christmas and i'll see you at the gaming table soon take care